Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm back here again for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off uh, a really, really cool item that I have in my collection. And that is the Treasures of Nirvana book box set. Um, I've had this for a, a few years now. It's been a while that I've had this. And um, yeah, it's just a pretty cool set. Um, it's basically got a hardback book inside of it. And um, it's got great full color photos of the band. It also has some cool, um, like, collectible... Uh, Re reproductions of cool collectibles like uh, posters, um, there's pictures in it, there's a, you know, a reprint, you know, concert tickets and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. Um, the first thing, of course, is the, the front right here. So it's a shot of, you know, the three band members, Dave, Kurt, and Chris. And then down here it says Treasures of Nirvana. And then starting right here, it says, uh, experienced the biggest rock band of the 90s with this amazing box set which includes a fully illustrated color book and and thousands of rare memorial, memorabilia sorry yeah also this was uh written by uh Julian G Gare I believe that's how you pronounce it G A A R and um this uh this set is not authorized by the band you know this was a uh, this was sold in stores, you know. I've seen several different boxes like this. I've seen one for a uh, Led Zeppelin, and I think maybe Pink Floyd. But yeah, um, here's the spine right here. Sorry about the dog barking in the background. And in the back, basically, just goes over all the extra stuff that comes in this set, all the posters and the pictures, which I will show off as the, um, you know, as it goes on as I go through the book. Beta. All right, so um, I'm gonna move that up, and then here's the actual book that it comes in. And again, great, great, sh you know, shots of the band. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail about each uh, each page. I'm mostly just gonna show off the pictures that it comes that it, that uh, you know, is in it. There's the spine, and in the back. Sorry, my cat's getting in the way. Really, really like that picture of there. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. And the first page right here is, uh, you know, you got a shot of the band right there. And then there's a little slit that has uh, one of the first posters. And this is the first poster right here. You know, which is just, you know, the uh, Nevermind image. And then it has a list of... Uh, all some of the shows they played on, you know, at the beginning of the tour from November 4th until uh, December 5th. So it has all them listed there. I went ahead and I took out the two posters that this set comes with because it it would be hard for me to um, you know, open them up with just one hand because I'm only using one hand. But uh, yeah, um, I love the fact that this uh, book set comes with uh, you know, these posters. Really cool. I know some people like to hang these on their walls, but I'm gonna keep them in the book. But yeah, I just went ahead and opened it up. So now let's get it started. It's a photo right there. Then, which is the same that's on the uh, front of the book. And then the contents, which I won't show off because you'll see them in a minute. And then the book begins with uh, an introduction by the Arthur Jillian G. Gar. And she wrote this in Seattle of 2011. I know my, my camera is kind of fuzzy, so you really can't see what it's written on there, but it's mostly about her talking about the band. And then this is when they talk about the early years. You know, Alberdeen and what it was like for Kurt, you know, growing up there. And then there's a shot of Kurt's childhood home right there in Alberdeen. And then this is uh, another house where the band... Uh, where Kurt lived briefly in 1986 and 87. And then these are just some of the bands that Nirvana was influenced by. Like you got Black Sabbath right there and Mud Honey. And then uh, the Melvins. And again, just a lot of information. Like this section basically just talks about, you know, um, you know the music scene in Seattle. And then this is when they began talking about early recordings. You know, there's their Jason Everman, which was his original guitar player. 
one of the original Nirvana guitar players. And then this is a uh, Chris Novoselic's uh, mother's uh, beauty parlor. And then there's a cool shot of the uh, Love Buzz single right there. I know it's kind of blurry. And then some, you know, production stills of the band. All these really, really great, great photos. And then this section is just dedicated to Kurt. Like, there he is. There's a family portrait. And it just has information about, you know, his life, you know. Shot of him and Courtney Love and Francis. I think this was, yeah, the 1993, uh... MTV Music Awards, and then there's when Kurt was arrested, and a cool shot of one of his guitars, and then there's just a publicity shot of him as well, and then this is them talking about you know their career from 1987 to Bleach. There's a uh, Jack and Dino talking about the. Uh, producer of the band and here's the band performing at uh, their first show in Portland Oregon you know great shots it's Chris and this is just a collage and this collage was done, well, these were done by, um, these were outtakes from the Love Buzz photo session for the, uh, Love Buzz single. And then this is one of the first little pockets that just comes with, uh, some random stuff, which I'll pull out, like, advertisements for, uh, you know, some shows that they did. Like, here's one from December 1991. Some of these are kind of small, so you might not be able to see all of them like really well getting more advertisement these things are really cool and I'm glad that they uh I think it's really cool that they included these there's the Connor Hall December 9th and this is the this is the Tad and Nirvana tour that they did in the UK from October through December and has all the dates or not or most of the dates I think and this is advertisement for the Reading Festival of 1991 all the bands that played and then the last thing is this really cool uh, handwritten uh, set list that Kurt wrote which has got a lot of great you know, great songs. I think that this is a really, really great set list for a, for a show. And if you guys want to read them, you know, you can just pause this. And then, you know, there's just more artwork. I mean, more photos, the band. And then this is when, um, you know, Bleach, when it was first released. This is a uh, photo of the uh, 1992 Australian Tour edition of Bleach. And then the rest of this section is dedicated. Each, um... Each album has their own section in this book, which I like. When the band's on the road. There's all of them in New York right there. And then this is uh, when they begin to talk about when, Grohl, when uh, Dave Grohl first joined the band. There's an average, I mean, there's a t-shirt, tour t-shirt. I mean, long sleeve that they had for sale band performing in London and then this is a section for Dave Grohl when he first joined the band cool photos of him and then there's photos of him with his with different bands like there's him with uh, them crooked vultures and little publicity still for the Foo Fighters right there and him performing and then this is from more touring and this is them this section is them talking about you know the ending of the uh, the Bleach tour and them going into the recording for Nevermind
there's all of them right there and then here's another one of their little pockets that just again has you know different little uh like there's a a, um, a ticket for the cow pasture or the cow palace excuse me from April 9th VIP team spirit stuff you know just stuff that the uh, the staff of the uh, the show would have probably had these are two nice just little pictures that they threw in and they tell you what's in the um you know next to the the um pockets they'll, they'll tell you what each uh, picture and whatever uh, ticket the concerts are from there's advertisement for never mind and then this is a uh, advertisement for the Nirvana fan club when they were going out um, when they were about to film for the smells like teen spirit video they had this they sent this out to fans and you know they said you know uh, they advertised it said hey we're shooting a video Oh, never mind. Excuse me. Um, that this is not what this is of. It is in here in this book, I think. This is for for their uh, uh, MTV Nirvana New Year's Eve show from December uh, 1993. Excuse me. I thought it was the uh, you know them talking about the smells like Teen Spirit video, which I think is in here. Again, some really great new photos. And this is when Nevermind first comes out. And them touring. Beginning of it. Butch Vick. You know, the producer. Cool photo of uh, Kurt. And um, one thing that they say um, on the top of these, you know, they talk about if how... It's funny if how Nirvana is... Uh, I mean, it's funny if how Kurt is signing with his right hand because he was actually you know left handed you know that was just one of the things that Kurt did to just that's just how he was and again them touring like this is an acoustic show that they played in New York at Tower Records more touring and then Kurt at the uh, Reading Festival in 1991 More in store. And this is a section for Chris. And then this is them, a section of them playing at the Reading Festival in 1992. Advertisements and Great, great photos all. And them actually playing the show. I know a lot of these photos are ones you can see online or they're photos that, you know, you've probably seen before, but they're just cool to see in this book. And then this is a for the Incesticide album. Like there's one that's signed by Chris and Dave. There's a copy of it. them in the studio recording and there's the Kill Rock Stars compilation which uh, Beeswax was on and then 1993 Francis is born and um, I think I'm going to cut off this video now because it's going to be almost 15 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off and I'm going to do a part two to this so um yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this overview um and uh, I'll see you guys at part two.